Noita is a game full of truly wondrous and unique mechanics, from the alchemy of producing new materials by combining others, to creating and harnessing the raw power of a star. So, as someone who has always very much enjoyed exploring and breaking games, it was amazing to find out that there's no way to actually break out of bounds in Noita, because there is no out of bounds. The initial boundaries of the starting valley can be broken out of quite easily in a variety of creative ways, revealing a vast open world to then explore, far exceeding the relatively narrow scope of the cave. At the ends of this world rise the second boundary, infinitely tall walls of extremely dense rock, but with a little more knowledge, those can even be breached, revealing entire parallel worlds. These extend infinitely in both directions. However, is there a limit to how many of these we can realistically travel through? What happens when we venture extremely deep into these parallel worlds? On a recent stream, I decided to find out, and that is the subject of this video. Is there a Noita Farlands where things start to behave very strangely? Oh yes, there is. But first we need to talk about parallel universe travel wands, because if we want to explore the far reaches of the multiverse in any decent amount of time, we're gonna need a suitable travel wand. This is the wand build that I used. Just one click from this will teleport us from a spot in one world to that same spot an entire world over, allowing us to travel across multiple worlds very quickly and safely. I ended up doing this in New Game Plus, where worlds are a little thinner, but for New Game, a wand build like this one on screen right now will much more accurately teleport you across worlds, as I'm about to demonstrate. <laughs> There we go. Now, if you're wondering how these work, the extreme basics of it are we're modifying a projectile so that it fires a very far distance into a parallel world, where it then sends a projectile back to us that hits us and teleports us to that parallel world. That's pretty much the simplest description of it I can give, but you can check the wiki for a much more in-depth explanation of how it works. If you want to watch this entire process unedited, I'll have it up on my second channel, Fury Squared. This is also taking place close to the end of a legitimate run I've had going over there for the last eight months. Anyway, with all that out of the way, let's begin. We're just going to go through worlds quickly until things start getting weird. All right, Tiny. There we go. One, two, three, eleven, twenty-three, fifty-five, ninety, one hundred. We're getting that flash in between now. I think that's new, right? I haven't noticed that before, that pink flash. Fifty-one. So we're at east 190 right now. The camera is, like, breaking. East 200. Not only did the camera start to behave oddly here, but my own character's movement was beginning to be very jerky. And then, look at that. The portal looks real weird. It's all stretched out. 225. 55. 256. Oh, look at my shield. The 256th world is where particles started to stretch vertically a sign of things to come. 87, 88, 89, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 500. just in time. 500 parallel worlds to the east. Greater than three. At this point, it was getting pretty late, so I decided to take a break and pick it up again the next day. But I was soon to find out that our journey was near its end. We're going deeper and deeper into the lands of Jenk. Can I, like, bring you to a parallel world? 
What if I can? I would like to do that. I would like to take you along with me. I did! 511. Oops. It's like, no. You don't want to do this. Yeah, so the wand broke. Because it, it won't let me go in. Like, right now we're in 511. This wand teleports you entire worlds across. And it's not working right now. So, let's actually manually walk there. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. You can actually see it where nothing loads in like that. We're able to teleport into it. Nice. Oh, look at my pointer. That's amazing. Yes. It's like the invisible wall. This is the ultimate invisible wall. See, okay. Like in other games, in the main world. The other games, other games, all other games, they don't even have parallel worlds. How inferior are any any other video game? <laughs> Just one world. And that world even has invisible walls in it. But we have reached the ultimate invisible wall in Noita. The ultimate invisible wall in any game. It's awesome. All right. And on the far side of this invisible wall, all movement along the X or horizontal axis is impossible. Yeah. So I like that light effect too. That's from my, uh, like the, the orange light effect. That's from my pinpointer. It's just the Y coordinate. <laughs> Unless you force your way in through rapid teleportation. So yeah, using this teleport wand is going to be impossible now. So if I want to go further, I have to actually use this wand. Let's do this. Is it gonna, oh yeah, see, look at that. <laughs> Doesn't even load it in. So far, we're able to go further than we were going down. I should not talk. <laughs> All right, so we were, you're able to get to 512 worlds to the east. Although I spent a significant amount of time trying to get further, the game crashed non-stop. So it seems accurate enough to say that 512 worlds is a pretty hard limit. But where there's a will, there's a way. And like I said, as someone who enjoys breaking out of bounds, maybe it's only a matter of time before we get around this ultimate invisible wall. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day and happy noiting.